And welcome back to Wake Up Call. I'm now sitting beside Jackson Kurtz, who's a graduating journalism senior right here at KU. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. Doing good. You know, you host an afternoon show, so this is a little early for you, right? Yeah, it's a little bit. Hey, but I'm here. I'm on Wake Up Call. I feel good. I okay. no, watched some news this morning. There we go. It's 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 uh it makes you feel good when you can get a good start, get a good cup of coffee, start the day early, rather than you. That's know, what I got my coffee over there. Yeah. Shout out Roaster. To leave it over here. Okay, where should we start? Your sure years so, here at KU were. You're graduating. How does it feel? It feels like uh, mm, oh, that's tough. I mean, you know, college was great. It was super fun. Uh, I learned so much, had so many opportunities, you know, every every year. I mean, this is where I started. This was where Jasmine Polk started the show, KU E! News. And we used to come here and just do, just read off the teleprompter of all these entertainment stories. And, you know, that was really the first experience I had doing journalism. I did like a radio. I was kind of, I don't know what I was doing with radio. But it was super fun. And, uh, you know, you learn so much from doing that and doing different things and failing, you know, messing up is what it's about. So you, like Rocky says, ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep yeah. moving forward. How much you can take? Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I he mean. He loves his movies yeah. if he can't do it. But, uh, you know, college is fun. It's good. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm done with doing uh, books and, not books. I like literature. Literature is great. I'm talking to, like. Yo, you need to study this for the test. Like, I ain't got time for that right now. I ain't got. I gotta. You're ready to graduate. I'm ready to graduate. I'm ready to go out into the new world. The new world. <laughs> it's like a Pocahontas. Or something. Yeah. Go out into the new world. It's and, undiscovered. Yeah, it's undiscovered. Go out into the new world and just, uh, you know, do my thing. So you is your time here as a KU journalism student. You started your own show, which was. That's I mean. guess kind of based off of that E News show, right? Which was the next, which is an entertainment focused show. It does have sports components, news components, but that was really your passion. So, do you see foresee yourself going into that in your post college career? Yeah, great question. Yeah, I, um, you know, being out in the real world, real world. This is the real world. Bring out in the professional media world. Uh, you know, I got a taste of kind of sports, not that much entertainment, but I got some entertainment and majority of news. You know, I kind of realized that, you know, news is kind of the area where you want to focus on for what I want to do. I want to become, you know, someone that can be able to do everything. And just, uh, you know, if they say, hey, so let me think of somebody. Uh, I can't think of anybody right now, but uh, maybe that's a good thing. But, you know, somebody yeah, that they can. Yeah, you're you thinking know, of yourself. Yeah, well, do the news. And then, hey, we want, uh, you know, we need someone to, so remember when TNT had like the halftime or something like that, and they bring in like, they had Sam Jackson on. Like, I want to be Sam Jackson, but not obviously Sam, Samuel Jackson, but like a, you know, a reporter, like bring him in and see what his opinion on. He does news all the time, but hey, maybe he knows something about sports. So do that. And then, you know, I love pop culture. I love entertainment. Uh, last night I fell asleep to Prince's original 1984, Nothing Compares to You. Uh, original recording with unseen unseen footage of his rehearsal in 84, The Revolution. So that was awesome. But anyway, uh, you know that, uh, just knowing all those things and being able to do both, all three of those, really. Yes, um, well, that's being very versatile. So like, you know, like Good Morning America where you could like cover the Super Bowl, but also cover the Oscars, but then there's a hurricane that's hitting Florida, so you get to fly down like that, eh? Yeah, George Stephanopoulos, Amy Robach, they're all really good examples of journalists that have the ability to report, anchor, and, you know, do fun things. Robin are, Roberts as well, who mm -hmm. started off at ESPN, now does Good Morning America, does the elections, all of that, but also hosts the Oscar red carpets and stuff. Versatility is very, very, very important. So, yeah, I agree. in your college experience, you've had the opportunity to intern at several different places, but one place that was really cool, you got to intern at CBS this morning. Tell us about it. Well, uh, going into the internship, I was a huge Charlie Rose fan. <laughs> that was my idol as well, guys. Yeah, I mean, he was the, he interviewed everybody. He was the man, and past tense. And, uh, you know, I was super excited. I, I used to literally watch those interviews. I would sit, I would, uh, you know, let's be honest, I would go out the night before, and we had no school or anything, so I was just sitting in my bed and literally just 
on YouTube, on his page, his watch, I'm like, I have to get to New York, I have to meet this person, this journalist, my journalistically speaking idol. So, uh, you know, I get there, I got there a week late because the fellowship I was a part of started the same week as a CBS internship. Oh. So all the other CBS interns had a week on me. And so I was like, all right, I gotta get, uh, I gotta, when I get here, like I gotta represent, like I gotta show these people but you to know, the real deal. Right, right. And so I was just a pansy, or not pansy, a, uh, <laughs> a pain in the arse when I got there because I was trying to get involved so much and I kind of realized like I need to just step back for a second and just realize everything. So, so what I did was I reached out to every single you know, anchor, I reached out to every correspondent, uh, exec, the executive producer for CVS this morning, CTM, Ryan Cadro. I reach, reached out to all these people just to get their advice and just talk to them. Like, what does it take to get where you're at? How did you, what's your journey like and everything? And 99% of them responded and 99% of them were, uh, you know, helpful. gave me helpful. So uh, my tasks were, you know, I did a lot of different things, but, um, you know, I did a group project, my group project. Uh, was this three-minute story, and we had to present it in front of all these CBS news executives. And you anchored it, right? Yeah, I was the anchor. And to my recollection, you guys won the competition. We won. And when we, get sell, or when we showed the executives, it was uh, C, uh, CBS anchor Anthony Mason, Steve Campus, who and who used to be the president, or sorry, the executive producer at Nightly News at NBC. And he, now he was, at the time, he was the evening news at CBS. Susan Zerinsky, which is 48 Hours, the well, executive producer, yeah. she's got the whole movie broadcast news based about her. And then Vladimir Dutier, uh, Vlad, who became one of my other mentors who I met with and, I would, and everything. And he was super helpful. But I mean, at the time, I was like, this is. So those, that was the panel of judges? That, yes. And, and I you. was just terrified, just seeing just like. Look them like me. Were they, were they, were they, uh, like, did they watch the broadcast or did they just, you guys did it and then they watched it back? We walked into the room, we played it, and we sat there while they watched it. Oh, okay. And uh, it was intimidating as bleep. But I have to imagine it's to produce a package there's much uh, easier with all the resources that they have. Yeah, it was hard though because, <laughs> because my shift was 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh. And that was, and so we had to do it off the time that we weren't working. Um, granted, we had some days off, but I also had my fellowship where I had to go to, you know, Facebook or iHeartMedia or Complex or some of these companies and hear like a panel or something. And uh, so I would wake up at four o'clock, you know, shower real quick, put on my suit, uh, take the Uber, get to 57th Street, work a little bit. Uh, it's one o'clock, go get some lunch, I'm off work, go shoot the thing, go to another panel, and then my best friend would text me and say, what are you doing tonight? And I would say, oh, so then you have this, you can't, <laughs> folks, life's too short. You yeah, know? you're you gotta, in New York for you one summer, in you're an intern, you have to kind of just live your life. As he would say, you're not going to not go out in New York. Exactly. If not, if not, not if that's not your thing. It's fine, but you got to do something, whether it's the opera, Broadway, the bookstores, li uh, museums, libraries, anything. There's so, so much to do. Just New York was, I was a huge Hamilton fan. I went to Columbia and I saw a statue. I went to his house in Harlem, had some chicken, this fried Chill. chicken sandwich, which to this day is like the best. So, I mean, just so awesome. So, after college, you're, it's like what, two, one, like a week and a half left and you're done. I got... 17 days. Oh, he has the number down. In those 17 16. days, do we know what we're doing after? You know what I'm doing? I'm going to be a news reporter slash maybe anchor. Oh. Uh, depends on the station and what, they, what rules they want. Do we know what me. station we're going to? We don't know what station we're going to. Do we to. know what station we want to go to? Yes. Do we have a top three? Come on. To, I'm not going to reveal anything. Oh, you can't. You can't. I, I mean, I don't want to. You know, I'll just, I'll secret. Secret. Well, I, can't, I, know we're, I know we're broadcast around the world, so... They'll probably hear about it, but come on, give us your top three. It's in the east and south, southeast. Those are, they're located there. That doesn't companies. give me anything. Huh? That doesn't give me anything. You gotta research it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about one of them. One of them, um, as I moved to Georgia, is one of them is particularly close to me, but if he won't give a hint, I won't give a hint either. But hey, thank you for all you've done for me. This is sort of my mentor, KU. Took me under his wing and 
Look at me Malik's now. Got it. Malik's got it on lock, folks. We're, it's going to be okay. So I am partially the way I am because this guy, thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. And coming up. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There we go. Oh, for the there culture. For the there culture. You already know. And you can see us Friday on the next 3 p.m. KUJH TV. When we come back, we can review.